Welcome back to the channel. Let's explore together. Today we're checking out Daniel Thrasher. You can literally say anything at the end of a movie. Can you? I feel like that could make or break your movie. But let's see what angle Daniel's taking with this concept. Give it to me straight, Doc. And then give it to me gay. So I guess we're just changing what happened to my face. Suddenly I'm wearing the most wonderful purple lipstick according to my webcam. Um, you just can't have nice things. You know? You, you can't have nice things. Okay, I think that's slightly better. Anyway, so I guess what we're doing is uh, redoing the, the ends of, of movies. I saw a pretty good skit uh, uh, on TikTok of the what Thrasher just did. The give it to me straight, now give it to me gay. And then I, I, I believe it was a gay content creator who did that. And he did, he acted out both. And it was, it was beautiful, wonderful. That's what that reminded me of. Anyway. Long way, came a long way. From where we began. You know, we started. Oh, I'm going to go see about a girl, Billy. Billy? Her name is Bristol. And her breath is hilariously bad. I wish to stay. I, I, I'm, I'm wondering what what is what am I supposed to take from this? <laughs> the title's what's throwing me off. You could literally say anything at the end of the at the end of a movie. I disagree. These are terrible things to say at the end of a movie. With the boy, if that is his choice. One day we'll all look back on this and. And pee, just a little bit. Oh. What movie is this? Is this Space Odyssey? Yeah. Oh. It, it says in the corner. I was correct, but also simultaneously extremely stupid while being correct. Ironic. But yeah, it is, it is Space Odyssey. <laughs> Horse girls are people too. What's a horse girl? I don't want to know. Wow. Boobs. Uh, okay. Boobs. Profound. <laughs> hey, teach. Oh, go. Don't you? You maniac! You blow it all up, or whatever he says. Destroyed it all. Great overacting in this scene. You love it. You gotta love it. You blew it up! Yeah, blew it up. Damn you all to hell! My damn dirty No, I think I'm gonna break my no-fap tonight. Oh! No, no. I think I'm gonna break it right now. Yeah. See, all of these should have ended with what I've done. That's, that's... I would have been more on board with this video if we did that. <laughs> Putting this in slow motion with those sound effects makes this real bad. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Webster's Dictionary defines triumph as the joy of victory. It's funny because in the movie, uh, I like how pissed off Frodo is at this, uh, but in the movie, like, it's not extremely well established why Frodo would care about seeing Legolas because in the movie, they, like, don't interact. Now, they interact a bit more in the book, especially at the, the council of Elrond, because that is, like, extremely long. The movie... Uh, the movie goes through it very quickly, probably for, for the better. Uh, it, it's hard to translate that to screen. In the Council of Elrond, they basically solve all the plot holes that people typically talk about with Lord of the Rings, because they talk about all those ideas, except for the eagles, but that plot hole's solved somewhere else in the book anyway. Plot hole. There aren't plot holes in Tolkien stuff, because the dude was too obsessive. Uh, anyway... Um, 
Yeah, but this scene's always been funny in the movie because I, I think Legolas says like two words to Frodo, even in the extended versions throughout all three movies. So it's just like, why would Frodo care based on the movie version of Frodo and Legolas? Like, they don't talk to each other. He just knows who he is because they travel together, but you don't ever see them interact in the movies. But what do I know? I can't even read. Oh. song so good. King Kong just getting wrecked. Beauty didn't kill the beast. Nope. That booty did. Oh! Oh! Oh, God! Oh, God! That was... That was... That was caked up Donkey Kong. Why? Also, this is just making me want to rewatch a lot of really good movies, because he, he only chose some bangers in this list aside from aside from transformers that's the only one i can remember that can go you know just screw off one day son my soul will become a ghost oh a ghost you'll have to bust oh that that sounds so wrong when worded like that like that one there that way if only there was someone to call for that yeah. why is james cameron getting credit for ghostbusters is looking at you, kid. Don't go crying over spilt milk, Michael. You're the best milker on the farm. Oh. You're the best milker on the farm. See, every time we end with what I've done, I, I somehow believe his lines. Maybe that's the only thing Transformers got right. There's just something about that song playing. That If you say something and then Chester Bennington comes in and says, What I... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know that. It's like, all right, whatever you said was valid. Oh, so good. Also, spoiler alerts, if you haven't seen Inception, uh, if you haven't, that's your own fault. However, everyone always debates, was this all a dream or not? Because it seems like a dream. It seems all too all too happy of an ending for him. And then the top doesn't fall. Now, according to Chris Nolan and others, when asked about it, it was supposed to be left ambiguous for the audience to decide. Most of them said things like, we like to think that he woke up. That's what we choose to believe. Uh, so if, if the actual creator of the film chooses to believe that this wasn't a dream, and the top does wiggle. I choose to believe it wasn't a dream either. Also, the other little Easter egg people point out is in the credited actors for this film, the age of Leo's children are, are listed as two different age brackets. Um, so technically, whoever was in charge of creating the cast of uh, credits uh, was definitely a part of the theory that uh, this was not a dream and that these children have legitimately aged. Maybe God is all of us. Even horse girls. What? What are horse girls? Horse girls with boobs. Horse girls with boobs? Horse boobs. What am I... What's... No. The way she throws that, man, always gets me. Gotcha! Look at her, look at her. Like, what, what is that? What are we... <laughs> you ever look at the moon and think to yourself, what is that thing? No. You know? No. I don't. Where did it come from? Space. What is it made of? What does it want? Rock. What do you want? Yeah. You want to hear something weird? Aww. This is my brain before therapy. Chaos. Destruction. <laughs> no, we can't talk about better help. Better help is bad. Bad company. Get get real therapy. We love Daniel, but we don't love Raycon or Better Help, who sponsor Daniel quite often. Both of those companies. I don't I don't blame Daniel. He's getting paid. D don't 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 do it. If if you can't resist 
buying products that are bad. Buy it from Daniel so he gets paid as well. But but please get real therapy and um, real wireless headphones. That's all. See you later.